This tutorial covers installing Forge UI, which is an advanced interface for stable diffusion, almost similar to Automatic 1111, but a modified version with a much faster generation. If you're not sure of the VRAM size of your GPU, open up Google, search your GPU name, mine is the RTX 360, then add Tech Power App. I'll click the first search option here. In here, you will see how much VRAM you have on your GPU. So mine is 12 gigs of VRAM using the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 360. First, you have to visit the GitHub page for the Forge project. Scrolling down to the details page, 8 gigs of VRAM will give a 30 to 45% speed increase. Also, 6 gig VRAM will give a 60 to 70% speed increase, whilst 24 gig of VRAM, 3 to 6% speed increase. The easiest way to install Forge on a Windows system is to use the one click installation package. Click and download the one click package, create a folder where I want to install it, and I'll rename it to Forge UI. Open the folder and save the installation package. Once the download is complete, I'll open the file here, right click the file and extract the installation package. So the process might take a while to extract all the files required, so just be patient whilst this is processing. After the extraction is complete, you can delete the zip file to save some space. Go ahead to open the folder and you should be able to see these files. First, you must run the updates.bat file to be sure you are running the most recent version of the Forge UI. Uh, press any key to continue once this is done. Go ahead and click the run.bat file to open the Forge user interface. This might take some time as well for the first time you are running it, so be patient whilst this runs to download a few requirements for the Forge UI interface. For the first time opening up the Forge UI, this might look familiar, something closer to Automatic 11.11. Up here we see a tab for Stable Video Diffusion. Scrolling down ControlNet and a few more extensions are also installed in the list here. I'll scroll back up and for now, we only have one model for the checkpoint. Forge installs the Realistic Vision model as the default checkpoint to be used. So to get other checkpoint models, you can visit Civit AI. This is Jagannot Excel. Save the checkpoint under the Forge directory. Uh, go to Web UI Models Stable Diffusion. Whilst this is downloading, since it's a huge file size, if you don't have the UI of your interface DAC, uh, navigate to the Forge directory Web UI folder. Scroll down to find the Web UI User.bat. Right-click the file and select Edit in Notepad. I'll go ahead to type uh, dash dash theme DAC. This gives the UI interface a dark look instead of the white default look. If you still need some extra arguments to be added, this is where you put them. Go to file, save, and close the notepad. I'll go ahead to reopen Forge UI and I'll use the run.bat file. After our download, let's check to find the Jagannot SD Excel model here, or you can use the blue button here to refresh the checkpoint list. So I'll drop down the menu and we can see the Jagannot SD Excel model, which we just downloaded. Next, I'll move to the ControlNet extension. I'll drop the menu down and scroll down. Clicking on the preprocessors, we already have this installed by Forge UI. But the models are not available yet on the right, which must be downloaded. To get the models, we scroll up, click on settings. I'll scroll down the side on the left under uncategorized. I'll click on ControlNet. Scroll up once again to find extra part to scan for ControlNet models. Go to your automatic 1111 directory, highlight the path, right click and copy the path of the ControlNet models back to the settings and paste this in here. Click apply settings, then reload the UI. So let's scroll down once again to confirm if we have the models updated. Do we have the list currently updated with all the models from Automatic 1111? If you don't have Automatic 1111 installed, visit the Hagen Face page for ControlNet models here. I click to download any of the models here. Save the model to your Forge directory, Web UI folder, Models, ControlNet folder. So close and reload the UI and you find the models here once again. Scrolling up, let's go to the extensions tab. You'll find all the extensions Forge installs by default. To add other extensions, click on the available tab, click on load from, scroll through the list here, or you can search for the extension name you'd like to install. I would search for the aspect ratio helper. Click to install. Once this is done, click on the install tab. You can use the check for updates to see if there are any updates of any extensions installed. 
Uh, from here, I'll go ahead to use the apply and restart button. I'll be patient whilst this will reload the page once again. Most of the additional extensions which you may install will be added to the list down here, but the ratio helper will be found next to the frame size. You can change the frame to any size, change the aspect ratio, as well as lock it to any dimension you may prefer. So the rest of the process and settings of using the Forge user interface from here are similar to Automatic 11.11. I used a ratio of 1024 by 1024 for SDXL. I included the high res fix with 30 steps. Also, I included a control net extension below using the Soft Edge preprocessor and model. Make sure to select the SDXL model if you are using the SDXL resolution. From my experience, using SDXL with Forge user interface was way quicker compared to using the Automatic 11.11 web interface. Changing simple settings like the checkpoints were a bit faster to update. Also, the generation took less time to see the results. I hope this was helpful if you are familiar with Automatic 11.11 to speed up your generations and take advantage of the additional features with the Forge user interface. If you enjoyed and found all of this helpful, don't forget to like to show your support and I look forward to sharing more videos with you guys soon.